Hey guys, so today I thought it would be a good time to have a conversation about Aki Monitor Gender. Do you have a male or female on your hands? We're going to talk about how we can use their head features and their neck to tell if you have a male or female. Now you're going to be much more confident with deciding if you have a male or female as they age. So if you've got like a four year old, it's going to be a lot easier to tell if it's a male or female or not. The younger it gets, the harder it gets and really under six months. It's pretty much impossible. Let's talk about it. We'll talk about babies and juveniles a little bit too later on, but we're gonna start with the for sures right away. All right, so we got a male and a female here. We got LG, who's my top ender yellow, and Dell, who's just a regular yellow of mine. Dell is the female and LG is the male. If you're looking top down, you might notice a few differences. It's a lot easier to tell if you have a male or female if you can see them side by side. So if you have one Aki, what I recommend is looking at some other pictures of confirmed males and females, and then that way you can kind of see in comparison what you have. You'll probably want to look at both males and females to see what they have in common. But you can see over top, and it might be a little bit harder to tell here because Dell is gravid, so she has a little bit of a thicker neck, but males really have a much thicker neck and head. So let's take a focus at LG right here. His head, and you'll notice most of the girth behind the eyes, is a lot thicker, it's a lot more flat, there's a lot more space back here. Where if you look at Dell, maybe you go peek back there real quick, Olivia. If you look at Dell, it's just not as wide back there. I'll swap them out real quick. You can see kind of where the nose is, they kind of have the same similar snout, but just the head basin back there, it's just so much wider for the male than the female. So female, their head is just a lot smaller and their necks are just a lot less thick. That's probably the biggest sign in whether you have a male or female as an adult Aki. Now let's take a look at a side profile here. We got LG back and I want to really take a look at the eyes and the nose, specifically the ridges on top. If you look at a male from the side and even on top, you'll notice that the ridges on their eyes and nostrils are a little bit more prominent. Now this is not as easy to see as the neck thickness and the head thickness, but it's definitely a difference you can notice, especially if you have a keen eye with these guys. Usually it's a lot easier to tell if you have multiple of them and you've seen them around for quite a little bit. The best way I can describe it is if you were to slide down their face, I know, weird thing to say, you would get a little bit of extra bump on that slide if you slid down the male's face versus a female's face. This is a really weird analogy. But basically, if you ever see one of those slides where it kind of like goes down and then there's a bump and then it goes down again, that's what the side profile of the male will look like. Where a female, there's really not that second bump. And I'm talking, of course, from their eye ridges over their nostrils down the beak or whatever you want to call it. You might have also noticed that females have longer faces compared to the male face in regards to their head's overall proportion size. Yes, males have wider heads, but the female one is a little bit longer and not as stumpy. Another thing I've noticed that's not present in all males, but a lot of males have what I like to call the V, and they have this prominent ridge going down the top of their head to their snout where their nose is. You can see a side view here, you see a crease under the nostril stemming from the front of the eye, almost like they have lips underneath. Lastly, I just wanna say that no method is 100% foolproof. Here's an example right here. And camera angles really mean quite a lot. We'll talk more on that in a second. We have very prominent ridges in this female here, and in the second picture, which you see now, those ridges seemingly disappear. So it really all depends how you take those pictures if you're trying to send off to someone else to sex your Aki. Let's move down in age and get to some of the harder ones. And you guys might have been like, okay, those adults were already pretty hard. Olivia was like, they probably don't even see a difference not seeing them regularly like I do, but hopefully you saw some indicators there. But what we're gonna do right now is I have uh, about six month year old Aki, a little bit less, and we're gonna take a look at this guy, see if we can figure out any indication of what gender it is. And hopefully through that process, maybe it can help you out a little bit. And first and foremost, I'm gonna talk about what you would send to someone if you don't know the gender and you wanna figure it out and you're sending it to someone who has a much better eye, you're gonna to wanna to take pictures instead of taking pictures like that shown down there, you're gonna to wanna to take pictures of the head. Particularly, you're gonna to wanna to take one top down, just straight over the head and this one's, you know, it's not as easy to see cause there is quite a shed going on this guy. You're gonna to wanna to take one top down, maybe a couple different angles. So Olivia kind of like rotate around the dude a little bit. So you can see from the front, you can see from the side, different angles, but still looking top down. Then you're also probably gonna to want 
to show a side profile. Hey guys. <laughs> So you would see, you know, the side profile of Aggie and then different angles of the side profile even from the other side as well if this one wants to turn its head. So basically, let's take a look at this guy. I can see for the age right here, and it's a little bit not as easy when you don't have a comparison. It's much easier if you do. But I can see that this guy, I think there's a little bit more of width to this portion back here we were talking about that with the big guys and usually that's an indicator of male. I do think it's a little bit more flat and just wider than usually one at this age would be. So that is kind of an indicator. There is also somewhat prominent eye ridges for this age, so that's one thing. So if I had to lean any direction, I would maybe say this guy is male, but I'm not sure. One of the trickiest things is that when they're younger, and this can happen up to a year, maybe even beyond a year, is that they go through a lot of transformation in their face. So one second, you might be looking at this guy and have a keen eye and be like, that's a female. I can definitely tell. Eye ridges aren't prominent. There's a thing that I can't describe, which I've been thinking of how to put it into words, where you just can look at the face of one of them and one just looks more gentle than the other. A, a male almost looks a little angry, a little pissed off, where a female it kind of looks more kind and gentle. I, I don't know why it kind of looks like that, but to me it does. So there's indications like that where, you know, seeing them over years and multiple of them that you might just be like, that's a female. But two months later, as they develop and, you know, they go from like six to eight months or eight to 10 months, it could completely change. There might be prominent eye ridges then. There might be a much bigger head. These guys, they go through little spurts of growth and grow a lot their first couple years. So it's really hard to, you know, tell where they're at because they grow at different rates and stuff just like us humans. So anyway, my best guess with this one is that it is a male and we'll have to see. I, I doubt I'll ever be able to confirm it because this one's hopefully going to their new home next week or this upcoming week, which, you know, I could probably stay in contact and find out for you guys and see if my guess was correct. But being that it's so young, you know, I, I can't really say with certainty, with certainty, not saying that certainty. right. Yeah, there you go, <laughs> that this is a male. So I'm gonna go ahead and we're gonna take one more step and we're gonna look at one month old Aggies and see what we can see there. Trust me, you're not gonna see much. I thought you were gonna say we're gonna look at some eggs. <laughs> here are our one month old Aggies. We have four yellows here who, as well as the guy you just saw, are hopefully going to their homes this upcoming week. We also have a one week year old red Hendrick Aggie right here. And I want to start with this one because this is fresh out the egg. And I want to show you that <laughs> plain Jane really you can't really tell much about this little one. Look how calm this one is though. <laughs> Just sitting on my, my finger like that. But if you look over top, it's going to be a little hard to see because it's so tiny. But you can see maybe some ridges on the eyes and some on the nostril. I don't even know if the camera would be able to pick it up, but I can see that. But really, that's not really an indicator. I mean, you just can't tell anything from an Aki this young. Even vets, I, I, I was gonna say medically, but I don't know if that's the proper way to say it. They can't see anything this young. They have to be at least six months for them to see it on an x-ray or probe them. Moving to the yellows, which you saw, who are about four or five weeks old. These are the two that I, of the ones I currently have, I shipped out some that were a little bit bigger, but these are probably the two with some of the biggest heads out of the four I have. Now, looking at these two, I would say this one guy's head right here is a little bit thicker across, but really, that's, I can't really say too much, because it's not by much, to be honest. Now, looking at a side profile, I would have to say that it's, it's hard. I mean, there's some indicators. There's, I mean, the eye ridges on this guy are, there's some eye ridges, but the nose kind of looks female. On this one, there's no eye ridges, and there's really not much of a nostril element going on there. So, I, I mean, if I was to guess, I would say this one is female, and this one may be male, but, God, guys, I, I, I you really can't tell. I will say, now this, I, I, I want to study a little bit more. But one thing that you will see if you have baby Aki's for quite a bit, and only if you have multiple, is their interaction with each other. The males, which I think is the males, I shouldn't say males because I'm not 100% sure, they do a lot of mounting and they'll do a lot of dominating. 
And like I said, I, I, I'm not sure these are the males, but my suspicion is that they are, and that might be an indicator for very young Ackies if they're a male or female or not. There are dominant females out there, so that's why it's not just like something you can really go all in on as a theory without doing some investigating. But that, that could be one indicator at a young age if you have a male or female on your hands. And when someone asks me for a baby male or baby female, that's something I take into account. I, I never say 100% that I'm giving you a male or female. I give the disclaimer that I have no clue. But size, some of the bigger dudes of the clutch, is one indicator I use. Another one is if they do a lot of mounting and dominating. That's the best way at this point I can decide if an Aki younger than six months old is a male or female. And really, there's no evidence behind this yet, like I said, but that's something I want to investigate. Alrighty, guys, so that's what I have for you. This was a hard video to film. To ask Olivia, I needed some help with this one. It's hard to really show off, and it's not easy to put into words, but I hope you guys took something away from this. At least what you took away from this, hopefully, is what pictures to send to someone who has a keen eye and works with Aki's a lot, if you can't tell on your own. But this is BDA, just if you want to see one more. BDA is my male Hendrick Aki monitor. You can see the thickness behind the eyes. He's the biggest boy I got, so hopefully you can see those more prominent male features there. I'll show you girly in here, but she's burrowed. She's the female Hendrick. Anyway, guys, appreciate you guys watching. It means a lot to me. Subscribe if you haven't. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys. Bye.